Hello, this is Tina. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna we are gonna still talk about some uh, the issues related to first level cache used in Hibernate. And uh, when we have a retrieval, not every time Hibernate will make a call to a database. Instead, here just uh, using the object in the cache. So let me show you the example. Okay. I'm gonna do yes continue using this one and uh, here I will create a new method called uh, retrieval okay and what am I gonna do yes I copy paste here and uh, uh, here I have a book system out persist do uh, system I two. Then here, what I'm gonna do is I will add some uh, find. Okay, uh, em dot find. Okay, with book dot class and the, the ID one one one. Okay, and then I will assign to another book. Okay, to make sure that make sure they're different. Book two. Okay, equals. And now I will system out dot, uh, let's using a three and uh, plus book two dot get title. Okay. And I will change this one to be four. Okay. That's the things I change. I just uh, using a find after persist. I have a find and I print the title and a commit and a four. And let's see what's going to happen. This one will not make a select statement because this book is in the cache. He are using the cache value. So we have to show the console, right? To see all the statement actually made by the Hibernate. Oh, oh something is wrong. Something is wrong, something is wrong. I, I didn't call that method. I should call that method. That uh, retrieval. Okay. I comment this on, I have to call this method. If someone sit in front of me, probably they will immediately let me know, okay, you haven't called the method, but I'm doing it alone. So uh, no one give me a hint. Okay, now let's take a look at, okay, uh, first one and one, between one and two, we have what? Between one and two, we have a persist, but actually Hibernate didn't make any insertion to the database. Instead, he just put the book into persistent context, which is in the first level cache, okay, and next, between two and three, I make a statement find. Find, it will go to the persistent context to check if this object exists there. If it's already exists, right? Because here, persist, we are putting in the persistent context, okay? And it's in the cache. Because it's in the cache, find will not make a select statement to the database. He will immediately return the object in the cache. So here, between two and three, two and three, there's no query to the database. But uh, we, when we get a title, you will get a title because the title, uh, the book has a title in the cache. And then between three and four, three and four, it will insert. Okay, when we commit, it will insert the record book into the database. So Hibernate has something which is uh, hold the object in the cache until the last moment, it will do the insertion or update or remove. And uh, uh, when we're using find, if the object is already in the cache, it won't uh, uh, make a query it just uh, using whatever in the cache so there are small problem sometimes the object hold in the cache might be stale 
but it won't be a big issue because the entity manager uh, will be live for a shorter time like uh, if we are using the web application uh, one request we are gonna have one entity manager so the live for the entity manager is very short so it won't be a big big issue if the object goes to stale and it really happened the object goes to stale in the first level cache okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye